It's time to break down our playoff scenarios and provide you chumps with my expert analysis. Like always we will start off with my eagle flying Vic Vaporub and Ray Rice smash you in the mouth spectacular team from the hizzle. My scenario is very simple, if I win or clown babies cry all flippin Sunday baby boy loses I win the bye. But even if I lose and clown babies wins he needs to outscore me by 35 points to steal the bye. Let's switch gears to another high-flying team with a gay-ass quarterback in Kyle Lorden at, that's right the retarded what would Chibodu team. He has the most solid team now ever since he dumped the air Thomas's bitch made ass on me for the resurgent Greg Jennings. Fuck you Mr. Thomas, how do you miss the entire year after spraining your ankle? You're nothing but a Frank or bitch. Anyways Chibo is in the playoffs no matter what and cannot win the bye. However if he wins he has a chance to knock out that clowning character. And technically yes he can make the bye but this is my fucking analysis and there is not a realistic shot in how he can win the bye so just shut up right now and don't utter another word or I will make the Chiefs play a normal schedule next year. Speaking of that clowning character how did you chief up this season? You are in a great position to either steal the bye from me or at least waltz into the playoffs. Now you're completely and utterly fucked if Big Papa Pump can't bail you out and beat Todd. Let's face it there is no way in hell you are beating Tebo this week so you should probably rest Big Ben just in case Big Papa Pump bails you out like your oh so caring president did with that also mighty stimulus package. There is sort of a three team race to win the bye in the FC West. But let's be realist and just bump Big Papa Pump out of that chalk because he not only has the hardest matchup of the three teams he has less of a prayer to win a tiebreaker than the Chiefs do at beating a team with a winning record this year. Now that we eliminated Big Papa Pump it comes down to show me your TDs and Team Harden. Obviously if we just went by names alone show me your TDs wins hands down. Looking past that pointless comment we look at both teams matchups and show me your TDs has his game hands down and Harden should also win making them remain tied with 9 wins. So the final breakdown comes to total points and TJ has a 17 point lead so team Harden will need to beat not only Jason this week but also DJ by 18 points to steal the bye. Either way both teams are a into the playoffs. The most exciting game of them all is the finale. It comes down to Team Todd versus Team Big Papa Pump which will decide the final playoff spot. Todd if you win you're in the playoffs, if you lose you're out. It's that simple. Big Papa Pump you're in the playoffs and the only thing that matters to your team is who you want in the playoffs clown babies or Todd. Finally I will break down my wishful thinking as far as which side of the bracket I am on. I do not want to play Team Debo the first game after my bye because he does have the best overall team after my dumbass trade and Arian Foster being the true savior and not Jimmy Debo. Therefore I need Harden to win and if I win I do not want to outscore DJ by 18 points, but on the flip side if I lose and Todd wins I will need to outscore Todd by 16 points to hang on to the bye but also not beat DJ by 18 points so that I don't have to face Team Debo. I know that Team Debo is probably the only one of you imbeciles smart enough to understand this playoff breakdown so I leave all of you with a fuck off if you were too stupid to comprehend. I said fuck off.